Today we're going to talk about racks. And let's face it, we all like a nice full rack. Hello everybody, I'm Mark from Overlanding Forward and welcome back to the channel. So what's up the top on my roof rack? So first of all it's a Land Rover Passion slimline lightweight roof rack. I'll put a link in the description, you know that I'm a big fan of Land Rover Passion gear. Hello Max, hope you're doing well. I've had this roof rack on for about 18 months. Um, I love it, I like the fact that it's flat, it's very lightweight and it's very low profile as well. So you get minimal wind noise, which I think is always good on a roof rack. The worst thing you want to do, especially in a car like this, is to put something on the roof and then get all this whistling and wind noise. It's pretty frustrating. Now, the great thing about this rack is it's got T-slots. So lots of things like uh, front runner gear will fit onto this rack. The only difference there is front runner T-slots are M8 bolt heads, and this one is M6. So they're slightly smaller. But what I do is I just buy a whole series of M6 bolts in different sizes from 20 mil, 25 to 30 mil, and then use those to connect and attach pretty much everything that you see on the rack. So how we got to what you see now. So the journey started way back when I had the Defender. I had a Nakateng Genga, it's tough to say that word, flat roof rack on the Defender. It was a 90. And then on that, I put an iCamper SkyCamp Mini. And despite the fact that it's a twin rooftop tent, it really isn't that big. And so that became a follow over from when the Defender went, I put the rooftop tent on this roof rack and it was quite easy to do. The brackets all lined it up, lined up, that was fine. But I've always been cognizant of the fact that there is a lot of weight on the roof. And the Defender was getting top heavy when I had both the rooftop tent on there and also had all the other gear in my front runner transit bag on the back. Now the same thing, and you can see pictures overlaid here, that I had exactly the same setup here on this roof rack. So I had my rooftop tent and then the transit bag on the back. What I find really amazing is this vehicle is significantly bigger than a Defender 90 and yet the same gear that went on the roof for the 90, I had no extra space on the Range Rover. So on the L322, the space available on the roof rack is exactly the same as you have on a 90. Go figure. So anyway, what was moved from the Defender ended up on the top of here. So it was really one of these things where I'd already invested in the rooftop tent, so I just kept on using it. And I'm not gonna get into the discussions of rooftop tents, ground tents, why did I get rid of it? You know, I got rid of it because purely two things, one, weight, I don't want the weight up there. It made this car look very, very cumbersome, having a rooftop tent bolted up there. I had nowhere to store it, and it was a pain in the neck to be able to get it off and on every time you used it, although I was away for longer periods of time. But I had nowhere to store it, and I also needed somebody to go and help me get the thing off and store it wherever it is that I wanted to store it, either in the back garden where it originally was, or potentially in the farm at my parents'. So that was a big consideration and I wanted to get the weight off, but then I, w I knew that I've got limited storage. So you've seen the things in the back here with the load space. I've got a fridge, I've got a pull out kitchen, 
besides the two seats at the back, as well as my water system that I've got in there, I've got limited space in this vehicle. So on the roof, I have two Peli IM3220 boxes. And in there, I've now configured everything where on the passenger side is my recovery box. So in there is my high lift jack, all my recovery equipment, um, tool kit is in there as well. I've stored everything over there. The one above me is really for things like my Starlink system. That's up here, although it's not in there at the moment, just in case some scrape wants to nick it. It's in a lockup. But I also have other things like ground sheets, tents, things that you generally need but would not take up space in the back. So that's what the two Peli boxes contain. Recovery gear in one, camping type gear in this one above me. So originally what I wanted to do was put the Max tracks on top of the Peli boxes. So both of these are second-hand Peli boxes, by the way. I actually drilled the front runner Max tracks mounts onto the roof or the top of the Peli boxes and then put the Max tracks on the top of it. But what I noticed was it was jutting up too high. So I found out, you know, I knew what the measurements were and I had the rooftop tent. With the Max Trax sitting on top of the Peli boxes, it began to look out of, it just didn't look right to have these two red things sort of stuck up there. So what I did was I filled in the holes, plugged them, and then took the Max Trax, the front runner Max Trax mounts. And what I've done is I've had to sort of, because of the way the slats are on this and the spacing, I've had to get creative and, and put some uh, three mil aluminium, I think it's 40 mil wide, flat bars drilled into where the slots line up and then mounted the, the Max Trax mounts to the bars that I have. So I've had to get creative on mounting it. Now, is there a way around this? Yes, there is, but that would mean taking the roof rack off and then taking it apart and moving the slats to line up to where the mounts are. To me, it was just not something I wanted to do and they're not going to line up 100% anyway. So for me, it was the easiest thing to do just to make up these brackets, which are just these flat bars on either side of the Max Trax mounts. And then on the very end, I have my space saver. So yes, there are lots of people that talk about this. It is an L405 emergency space saver wheel. The emphasis there on the word emergency. So I took it from my load space when I was having a big clear out and then I put it on the roof. That sits on a front runner mount. And then what I've done again, because of the spacing of the way the slats are, I've got two more pieces of flat aluminium bar, 40 mil wide, I can't remember the length, to be able to give me enough reach to mount the spare wheel carrier onto those bars, which allows me to shift this all around so I could get the max tracks to sit flush on the end of the roof rack, but also get it to sit further up against, right up against where that spare tire is. So I'm really happy with the way it sort of worked out. It is symmetrical. And those of you who follow the channel know with me, I'm pretty anal when it comes to things like that. The other reason why I've done it this way as well is, unless you approach the car from the front, you really can't see the Max tracks from the side. Now I'm not the type of guy that's gonna leave these things up all year round. Once they go up, they're generally going to go on a trip. When I come back from the trip, they're going to come down. So they're not these things that are going to stay up there all the time. And I know some people have them on their vehicles all the time. Just don't see the point. You are asking for trouble for people to crawl over your vehicle and nick them. However, on both the Peli boxes and with the Max tracks, when they're up there, I've got them locked down. And it's not just one lock, there's multiple locks and how I've got them secure. The same with the Space Saver as well. I've got a massive chain lock around two of the bars into the wheel as well just again in somebody just walks by and thought oh we'll have that um, i've also drilled into where the post is as well and put a lock through that it's sort of belt and braces but i live in london and yeah it's not very safe sometimes so that's the setup i'm really happy with the way it looks as far as how it's symmetrical with the boxes either side max tracks down the middle spare tire down the back as far as weight saving, the rooftop tent itself, 130 pounds in weight. And that was the iCamp SkyCamp Mini, it's the smaller version. So it was about 130 pounds at 68 kilos. There is no way there is 68 kilos of weight on that roof rack at this point in time. The two belly boxes are pretty light. You can lift them quite comfortably. If they weigh a few kilos, I'd be shocked. 
and the gear that goes in there was already in the vehicle anyway. It might have been lower down, but that's up there in the pelly boxes. So I feel quite comfortable that I've probably shifted at least 50k worth of weight off the roof and then brought it into other parts of the vehicle um, on the different savings that I have, but like I said. Other things that have to go into the vehicle are things like pump-up mattresses, uh, sleeping bags. I've got a net that I put in the back here. So a lot of that soft goods, pillows, sleeping bags, they can all go wedged in the top, make use of the space in sort of the headliner as well. Um, and all the other things that I have that are sort of around that, around chairs, I use Helinox chairs, which pack up really, they are in the pally box here. So I can fit two Helinox chairs, the cot, the J cot, which is the yellow cot that I've got, that cot tent, that can go in there as well. And I can also fit a Helinox table, as well as things like shades and all the other bits and pieces that come with the Helinox gear. They all fit in there. And so I've taken the foam out um, of that one with the high lift and all my recovery gear, but the foam sits on the bottom to make sure there's enough cushioning for my Starlink when it's in there as well, so it doesn't bounce around. So I can fit a lot of gear into there and a case of when you rock up, you basically just unclip that thing and then you're good to go. You can get access to everything that you need. So I hope this has been of interest to you. I've got a full rack now and let's face it, we all like a nice full rack. And please, if you like the video, please like the video. Please don't forget, click subscribe, helps the channel grow. And with that, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.